Hello, I'm Robert Schweiger, Director of Product Marketing, Automotive. Last week I talked about ADAS sensor fusion platforms and sensor concepts, and I also talked about new uh, sensor trends and a little bit about the data rates that are required in order to connect the sensors with the sensor fusion platform. Today I'm going to talk about the sensor performance and also the processing requirements that are needed to do real-time processing of a lot of data. So as I have mentioned, you need for level three automated driving, you need camera, radar, and LiDAR. So on the camera side, um, recently it became very popular to deploy neural networks for object detection and classification. But since the neural networks are trained on a uh, labeled picture database, um, it's hard to verify whether you, you covered all the corner cases that can occur in the traffic. And because of that, you're going to use also as a redundant uh, flow, uh, for instance, a classic image um, object detection, like an optical flow. And then you run both uh, object detections in parallel. You compare uh, them with each other. And if they show the same object, then um, it's fine. So this is actually very important in order to address functional safety, to have a redundant approach here for object detection. On the radar side, I mentioned that uh, due to the 79 gigahertz band, there are a much higher resolution possible. And so let's talk a little bit about uh, the resolution. So on the, on the radar side, we can expect an angular resolution of 1.2 degrees. And we also can expect a range accuracy of about 10 centimeters using, for instance, frequency modulated continuous wave radar systems or even fast chip sequence radar systems. I also mentioned that on the LiDAR side, this is a, a, a great sensor because it is a very accurate, um, a precise sensor to capture the 3D surroundings of a car. So the angular resolution of a LiDAR sensor is actually 0.1 degree and, and the range accuracy is actually even better than radar. It's about five centimeters or even below. But as you can see with the latest radar concepts, the, the high resolution imaging radars are getting very close to a LiDAR sensor. So you have here also a nice uh, kind of redundant system that is very robust against uh, different weather conditions. So if, so with a car, and because of safety, it's very important that the data is calculated in real time in a very efficient way. And for that, Cadence provides Tensilica DSPs that uh, are high performance machines, uh, low power to enable exactly that. So for cameras, as I've mentioned, neural networks um, are deployed a lot. And so f um, we have these two redundant flows for classic imaging. You can use um, Tensilica Vision Q6. But we also do have a dedicated neural network processor if you need more performance. So you could do with a Q6 also the neural networks, but if you need more performance, you can also use the Vision C5 for the neural network processing, achieving one teramec of performance. On the radar side, especially for the digital beam forming, um, you need to calculate a lot of FFTs, 
matrix, linear ma uh, algebra. And so the Tensilica Fusion G6 processor, which is our baseband processor, is very well suited to do exactly these type of calculations, which are also similar to LIDAR. So as you can see, um, with Tensilica, you have actually a processor that can be used to offload the, the number crunching task from a CPU or from a GPU, which are actually not uh, very efficient for this type of calculations. And at the end, it will um, enable you to realize a ADAS platform, a hybrid ADAS platform, as explained in my previous session, which allows um, the same functionality at a lower power consumption. So for more information, please visit cadence.com/automotive. Thanks for watching. Yes.